So this first card is going to be your vision, all right? So what is your vision? And this is in terms of, you know, career and goals and what you want for yourself. So your vision, okay, is we have the water sign, the Ten of Cups. So your vision, if you look at this card, you can see it's full. The water is flowing. Everything's flowing. So you're in... There's 10 cups here, and they're all full. So you really want Aries to make a lot of money. <laughs> I think you want a lot of money, and you also want to share that money. And, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So it, it your vision is to have a lot of abundance, all right? So that's that's a great goal to have. It's, it's very generic <laughs> because a lot of people want that, but it's also a very good energy to have. So let's check it out. The next card is... What opens your perception to hear others? So whenever we want abundance, what we want to do is we want to be able to listen because a lot of abundance just comes from being able to follow direction and also understand other people's goals and how they fit in with yours and who can help you and what direction to go in. So, so what is it that opens your perception to hear others? Okay, so you got the strength card. That's this card here. So you have a lot of pride, and your pride makes you feel as though it's easier for you to listen to others because you have confidence in yourself. You have confidence in your own ideas, and that really opens your ears up because you feel you know, very safe listening to other people's ideas, and it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to change because of that, but you're very open to listening. So the confidence there is like, okay, well, I, I have a lot of confidence in listening to what you're saying. And I know that seems a little bit disjointed in terms of, you know, um, what opens your perceptions to other having like pride, but it really does. It's, um, it's an honorable way of looking at things, okay? All right, now, this next one is, how do you present yourself in the best possible way? So let's see. Okay, so you got the Ursa Minor card. Okay, and this is the Ace of Cups. So this means that you present yourself as a humble person, as someone who's willing to grow, as someone who um, is, is definitely willing to listen and and you always treat the, a situation in, like with business and career as a person who's willing to grow. So it's very important. And you also show this person that you're um, you have something to offer, because when we have this cup, you have something to offer. But it's also a very emotional, humbling feeling like um, just like this, like when we look at a card, the strength card, we also think of this woman here um, as being very this goddess. What? as being very humble and she's able to tame the lion because she's got this really uh, great pride within herself, but it's a humbling sort of pride and it's an emotional sort of pride. So people trust you very easily. So that's, that's a good way of uh, presenting yourself. Okay. Next is how do I maintain clarity? So that's this card right here. Number four, how do you maintain your clarity? Okay. So you got the princess of cups and on this, you can see that there is Libra, there's some Scorpio, and then also some Sagittarius, okay? And you can see this is the Autumn card, and this is the Princess of Cups. So when you maintain your clarity, when you talk about a Libra, you maintain clarity by being balanced, being fair. You also maintain uh, clarity in terms of Scorpio, as in being uh, very precise and very analytical. And then also with Sagittarius, you always have this direction that you're going in. So you are, have a lot of clarity, Aries. I mean, it's it, probably one of the best things about you is that you're always direct and you're always telling the truth um, no matter what. So you've got a lot going for you already in terms of business, in terms of how you operate. I mean, you really want a lot. You want abundance, but you have this pride. You have honor. You have this fairness. You have this um, willingness to learn and these emotions to um, 
let other people know that you're trustworthy. I mean, this is a really great, great spread, Aries. I mean, you've got a lot going on here for you. Um, I don't see why you would have any problem making money or making good business decisions or good business partners. Okay, so the next one is, do I adequately express enthusiasm? Okay, so that is going to be this card here. All right, yes, <laughs> yeah, you do. Here's your Aries card right here, okay, the Emperor. So yes, you always express um, this great enthusiasm. And it shows because you seem um, very willing to get the job done. Um, you seem very stable. You seem like an emperor, like someone who's able to, uh, who just exudes command. Like I, I'm, so yeah, it's you, it's an, it's a different kind of enthusiasm, not like a rah, 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 but more like a, I'm ready and I am in control. So that's what it seems. This is a wonderful card to get. This is what you express and you're in Aries. You saw me shovel those. <laughs> okay. So next, what helps me negotiate? So how do you negotiate? Let's find out. Uh, that's this card right here. Okay. So you have Cardinal Earth, which is the King of Pentacles. That's very close to, you know, this Aries energy here. And that is going to be, um, instead of Cardinal Fire, which is what your sign is, you got Cardinal Earth, but you can see that you have this um, pentagram here, uh, the pentacle here, and then you have this Saturn energy, and you also have some Capricorn energy. So how you negotiate in this particular sense is, hmm, well... It seems when when you see an earth sign, that kind of negotiation means that you're you're willing to put a lot of work into things. So when you negotiate, you uh, let off the signal that you're a hard worker and that you're stable and that you're persistent. And this is these are a lot of really good, really good traits. Um, and if you have the right idea, and I think you can really be very persistent. And you have this Saturn energy here, too, with your negotiations. So that means a very uh, authoritative uh, type of negotiation. So, yeah, this I don't see why you would not have any money. And this is this is the best spread I've ever seen for business. This is amazing. OK, so the next one is, am I following up in the best way possible? So when you're getting back to people, are you saying the right things? Are you t uh, getting closer to what you want? Or are you giving the right prices out? These sort of things. OK, um, so that is going to be num this number here, this one. OK, so let's check and see. So the nine of wands, which is the dragon, okay? So yes, this, this card is a card of triumph, of overcoming challenges, and it's also a nine of wands, meaning it's very close to being perfect in terms of manifestations. So yes, you're getting back to people, you're overcoming challenges, you're, this is a great spread, you're putting out a lot of energy that is getting you what you want. So if you're not getting what you want so far right now and you feel like your money is tight or you feel like your business isn't going the way you want it, it's maybe you're not in the right business because you have all of these talents. You just need to know where to put your energy. So anything that you really can, uh, that you, that you're really good at or that you're really passionate about or you really enjoy, um, you would be able to really flourish, but you have to get that right thing. You have to pick the right thing. Because there, you could be taking all of this energy and putting it in the wrong place. I mean, that's what I'm feeling as an empath is that some of you are telling me right now that, you know, why isn't this working? It may just be that it's not the right time. You haven't picked the right thing. So I'll I'll stop going on about that. But when I get those feelings, it just comes in. Okay, and then what? So what's standing in your way? So that's a good question for what's next is. You know, what is standing in your way? Well, let's find out. Okay, because we just talked about that. Okay, so you have the serpents, which is the four of cups. 
Okay, so this card is about health, it's about healing, um, it's about emotions. So it seems like one of the things that could be standing in the way could be negative emotions towards uh, what you're doing. Maybe you don't believe in yourself en en enough or maybe the whatever you're working on, it's not feeling passionate to you, it's dragging you down, it's making you feel unhealthy. Um, or it could be a state of health that you're in right now or a state of health around you. Something is just sort of bringing you um, a little bit of bad uh, vibes, bad energy, bad feelings or something. So those need to be dissolved. Um, and there's the serpents is a healing card as well. So your emotions need to really heal before you can really make a lot of money. OK, so, I mean, that's at least. It's something, you know, that can be worked on here. All right. You're you can you have control over your health to some extent. So, you know, if you want to meditate to feel better or uh, you, mean, you get the picture. <laughs> OK, so the last one is how can I use my communication to grow my business in the best possible way? So let's see. All right. So you got the five of wands. And you have the crater, which is a chalice that needs to be filled. And we have the Leo energy again here. And then we also have some Jupiter energy. So what this is telling me is to use communication, uh, you need to kind of, especially with the four of wands, to grow your business and use your communication the best is to always think that you're, I mean, this is basically your cup is full is what this card means in this situation. So, or you're trying to fill this cup. You have to think of situations as that you're already part of abundance. It's going to be, I'm trying to explain it, but you have to think of the, the glass is already full for you to actually communicate the best. And so you can't be thinking, oh, this person's not going to give me what I want or um, this is going to fall apart or this person doesn't like me or is in my way. And those are all sort of like either half glass full or glass empty sort of things. But with this chalice, it talks about being full and the four of wands going uh, forward. Like you, it, it's like, um, let me see. I want to, I want to explain it a little bit better. So I want to look at, uh, cause it's upright too. <sighs> Okay, so this this card too is like you you always have this feeling of um, emptiness, and that's what I'm feeling too. It's feeling of emptiness. So you got to make sure that you think with the cup always full. So if you're thinking about always leaving, like I don't like this, I got to leave, or my environment is not supporting me, um, these are things that make your your cup feel sort of empty. So what you want to do is imagine that cup really being full. Now, again, if this, if the situation that you're working on or type of business that you're working on isn't really, is, is giving you a lot of these emotions that your cup is empty and you're feeling a lot of this um, emotional negativity inside, that's the reason why all these beautiful cards here may not be working yet. So if you have this this overwhelming feeling of emptiness or or you need to leave or something like that, I think that you should actually consider trying something different because that's what this card, this um, spread is expressing to me here. OK, because you have all this wonderful, wonderful, these qualities and oops, <laughs> the only thing really standing in your way is how this particular thing you're working on right now is causing you some grief and some emptiness. So we want to fill that up. Now, if you decide to stay wherever you are, please keep this card in mind that you are going to have to have a lot of positivity and this card in mind that you're going to need to really heal what's going on. And just try and imagine that the universe wants to give you what you want and that that um, that you always come from this place of belief. A lot of people want to think, oh, well, if I think worst case scenario, then I'm never going to be disappointed. But sometimes you just keep getting disappointed just because of the way you feel. So uh, just, 
remember, if you're going to stick with it, have that glasses full attitude, okay?